hello guys welcome back today we have this equation and we're gonna try to solve it the way to do this is to say um is to subtract 36 in both sides of our equation uh notice that the highest power here is three uh in order to find uh, all the roots of this uh equation we have to find at least one uh, root uh, by testing so if we test a equals one uh, it will not give us zero which means this fails if we test uh, a equals to two will not get zero which means this also fails if we test uh, three will get a zero which means three is one of our roots so we have found one of our roots so the way I'm, that i'm gonna do this is to put uh three the roots that we found uh before we go any further notice that this equation can be written as a to the power three plus a to the power two uh, plus zero times a to the uh, power one uh, 30 minus 36 uh times a to the power zero this is our equation okay so from here i'm gonna take the coefficient of our equation a have uh, a to the power three have a coefficient of one a to the power two have coefficient of one a to the power one have coefficient of zero a to the power zero have coefficient of 36 so i'm gonna put one here the first coefficient and i'm gonna say one times three which is three positive three and i'm gonna uh, add one and three which will give us positive four and i'm gonna say that positive 4 multiplied by 3, which will give us positive 12. And say uh, 0 plus 12, which is 12. And say that 12 multiplied by 3, which is plus uh, 36. Notice that the last term gives us 0, which means 3 is our... Uh, roots is our root so the way that i'm gonna do is this is to copy this downward what we have what we found here we're gonna copy it downward so from here because we have already uh, found one root uh, we are left with other roots so we must start uh, with with the highest power of two so we'll have one times a to the power two plus four a to the power one plus 12 uh, times a to the power zero which is one and one times 12 is just 12. this is equal to zero so i'm gonna factorize this just notice that we can factorize this using a, a quadratic formula. Uh, B is 4 plus or minus and minus square root of um, a 4 squared uh, of, of uh, B squared, which is 4 squared minus 4 a a is uh, one and um, a c is 12 uh, divided by 2 a which is one notice that a is equal to one b is equal to four and c is equal to uh, 12 we are taking the the coefficient or uh, of uh, each term in our equation okay if we solve this we'll have 
16 minus 48. Just notice uh, that 16 minus 48 is just uh, 32, negative 32. Notice that uh, 32 can be written as 16 minus 16 times 2. This can be written as 16, square root of 16, times square root of 2, times square root of negative 1, if we separate them. Square root of uh, 16 is 4, and the square root of 2, and... Um, Square root of negative 1 is i. Let me just rewrite this. We'll have i for square root of 2 divided by 2. If we divide uh, by 2, we'll have negative 2 plus or minus i 2 and square root of 2 so a 3 which we found previously and a equals to minus 2 plus i 2 square root of 2 and So we have um, one real root and two complex roots.